Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I am going to show you the simplicity of turning on a light using just a motion sensor and a Zigbee light bulb. So let's head down this dark hallway to the office and I'll show you guys how easy this is. Boom, there it is. We just walked in there, turns the light on for me. Now this is something that would be great for you guys if you have a long dark hallway or if you want to put this in the garage or bedroom. I actually am setting this up for our bedroom because we do have a light switch right next to the door but before we jump into bed we need to turn off the lights and sometimes we like to just sit in bed with the lights on so this kind of solves that problem. We're able to turn the lights on and off either on the phone or with the motion detector. So let me show you guys really quick how I did this. All right so let me quickly show you what I have. Um, so I have the Samsung Smart Thing Motion sensor, and then I also bought these light bulbs right here. They are the Senglid uh, programmable smart light bulbs. If we see on the side of the box here, it does say it's compatible with Smart Things Hub, and it is Zigbee compatible. So I got these light bulbs. I love these light bulbs. They are ten bucks. Such a great deal. I was looking at getting the Hue lights, but then I needed the Hue Hub to properly make them work and the Hue Hub looks almost exactly like the Smart Things Hub and I didn't really want to have two hubs laying around so I kind of wanted to avoid that altogether and look at getting just a smart light bulb. I saw the LifeX light bulbs but they're 50 bucks a piece and I'd say I'm, there's no way I'm spending $50 on a light bulb. I'm sure they're great products and it says that they last 22 years as opposed to the Hue light bulbs that last five years but hey guess what I bought these for 10 bucks 22 years right here. So there we go. These are light bulbs I'm gonna be using. Uh, so far I do like them a lot. So let me jump in the app here. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already added the master bedroom light and the bath master bedroom motion sensor. Uh, these are pretty much just standard things. You're just gonna click on add a thing and then um, just pair the two of them. So there's no extra coding or anything that needs to go on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to automation you're typically going to start here where you're going to see the routines. I'm going to click up here on smart apps and then add a smart app. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on recommended here, smart lighting. You can also go back here, go to lighting and switches and then click on smart lighting. What it's going to do is going to jump right into the app. You're going to start adding what you need. So it says, which lights do you want to control? I want to control my master bedroom lights. Click done. So anything in red is things that you actually have to select. So obviously I want the lights to turn on. How do I want to trigger them? I want to trigger them with motion. Click on done. Which motion sensor? I only have the one, so master bedroom. Done. So we're gonna have it turn on when the motion starts and then turn off after the motion stops. And I am going to set a two minute timer. So as long as there's motion within the two minutes, it, the light will stay on. And you guys can adjust it from there depending on um, what your motion sensor is and how long you want the light to be on. So I'm gonna click here on more options and I actually wanna set a time frame for this. So I'm gonna say only during certain times. So start at a specific time. I actually am gonna select that and I wanna start it at sunset. And then I actually wanna end it at a specific time. So I don't want this to be going off in the middle of the night when we're sleeping. So about 9.30. 30 is when I want it to stop activating it. All right, so 9.30 p.m. I'm gonna click on done. That all looks good, so we're gonna click on next. I'm fine with the name, we're gonna click save, and there we go. So that's basically it. It is very simple to set up. As you saw in there, you can set any kind of parameter that you wanna do. I ideally want mine to start at sunset and also with the time change, it's nice that I don't have to constantly go in there and change it. This is something that's pretty beginner level, but I wanted to show you guys just so you get an idea if you're thinking about getting a smart thing hub, how easy it is to set up and just all the possibilities and all the logic that kind of goes in behind it. So I hope you guys like this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.